Hey everybody, welcome back. Check it out. Finally got the MiG-29 Ocean RC free wing. Um, just showed up this afternoon. Just got home from work. Excited to break this box open and check it out. So, not much on the outside of the box other than some cool drawings and stuff. Let's get to the main attraction. This is as far as I've gotten so far. I pulled the box open just to scope it out. So here's the manual, info on the blue box, clevises, notes, one thing to point out, as I'm sure you know if you're watching this already, if I didn't pass it already, control horns, where they go, follow the manufacturer's specs, don't have a problem with your elevators. Um, anyways, there's that. Got our decals and stuff on the top. These will be the tiger face um, that go on the rudders. I'm undecided if I'm going to do that. I most likely will because I think most people probably won't. So that makes it enough of a reason for me. Plus, I think it's cool. It's something different, you know. Get this out of the way. Right in the middle. Good size nose cone. Got a nice big hatch. Gotta pay attention in there. There's some other stuff here. We got some uh, some racks. It looks like for the wings. Stuffed in there as well. So. I wanted to get the hatch out and look at it. Look at the canopy. Pretty cool. Good size sucker. Awesome. Here's the nose you're going to have to glue on and some other stuff is stuffed inside of that. Very beefy carbon spar. Everything made it here in good shape. With actual hinges, not just foam hinges like some things have. Those are very free and smooth, which is great. That's what you want. Here's the other wing. Looks like it made it in good condition. Excellent. And we've got some elevators in here. One, two, and then here's some more parts. Some pylons for the ordnance and a tray for something. We'll figure that out once we get to it. But let's get this stuff off the top so we can dig into the fuse in the bottom. Awesome. Very cool. It's a chunky sucker there. It's pretty big. I was kind of curious. I know it's I knew it was big, but till you see one in person, you don't really kind of understand it. F-22 seemed big. This guy's big. Uh, let me clear some space here and we'll get the rest All of right. it out. Got the Harbor Freight moving blanket down. Those are great. You want to protect whatever it is you're working on and they're pretty cheap. Big fuse out of there. So the rest of the stuff in there. Obviously we got some rudders. Also have real hinges on them. Another rudder. Then in the bottom there, as you guys all know, all the missiles and whatnot. Give you a scale. Look at the size of that thing. I mean it's, it's the size of your forearm. That's big. Very cool. Very cool. I will definitely be flying it with those on just because I like scale details and, and that's just badass. So, can't wait to get into the build. Get this thing all assembled and looking good. But yeah, she's a big chunk of foam there. All right, we'll come back and we'll start building. Okay, some of the things in the packaging that were stuffed into the nose of the bird here. 
is uh, you can see you've got your glue, you've got the little pieces that will go on here once you glue the nose on and some scale probes and things. And then the other bag here, looks like we got the elevator, probably pivot rods and some linkages. It actually all tells you right there. Um, one other thing I wanted to point out, I don't know if you guys caught it or not, but you made a little holder there to plug your cables into when your wings are off. So talk about thinking outside the box. It's above and beyond. So we're going to dig into this. It looks like the first thing you do is glue the nose on. So when we get that glued on, the little pieces that go on the sides, and on the sides here, and then a tray. So I can't do any better than what James from Motion did on his build uh -huh. video. He did it better than anybody, but we're going to do it my way. So okay. here we go. So we've got the nose glued on here. Um, we've got all these little plastic cover pieces on and they're all labeled and point forward and tell you where they go which is cool and then we got the plywood um, battery tray down in there that's it for the first page next page they have you start putting on the rudders and elevators all right there we got the elevators on um, i'll leave the linkages off till i power up the radio and make sure everything's centered and good but um, it wants you to flip it over and put the rudders in but i have a surprise first let me grab it everybody check it out that's right we've got the Guniac fiery booties just got them here for the fabulous MiG-29 just took it out of the package here's here's what's in there with some zip ties to hold everything in place but um, got this opened up here so now we'll pull the fan out get the afterburners on and put it back together and I'll kind of show you how we do that and then we'll show you a video of it in the sky ho soon hopefully so stay tuned here we've got afterburner number one installed so the wires will pull up through the oval hole in the housing um, then you'll put a zip tie on there and put some CA in there uh, to kind of hold it to the motor for a little extra touch and this side is ready to go in just gonna get my little fishing wire and figure out how I'm gonna get the wires up to the front the ESC wires go down in there, so these will follow those as well. Um, I also used paint pens. I don't know how many people carry these, but so I happen to have a white and a yellow, which I happen to have a white and a yellow here. So I just marked the leads on the speed control so I know how they go back in uh, with no problems. So something to think about because you, you want, don't want to have it all put together and then figure it out you got to reverse your wires, right? So. Anyways, let me get uh, this one done and then we'll route the wires and we'll show you. All right, we're getting the wires fed up through here. You can see I've got that one. This one here, I've got the little metal. Oh, it's kind of dark. Um, so when I got my F-16, I'm trying to remember what other free wing jets I got. Came with the metal little loopy thing, long rod that you can pull the cables through. And I'm using that to pull the wires up through into the nose for the afterburner. So, okay, we got the fans installed again. We got the wires routed down inside there. Just they just go right through there and down in. You can see the afterburner fiery booties in there. Looks pretty good. Number one, number two. There we go, guys. Okay. Well, now we're gonna flip it over and uh, or we'll button this up and then flip it over and carry on with the build. Okay, we got the bottom buttoned up, flipped her over. Now we're gonna fix the top. So we got the wires that come from the burners. And here's your controller with the on off switch. Um, you're gonna plug it into your balance tab and then you're gonna wire it into your throttle or what I prefer to do if I have enough channels is I go to an auxiliary channel of some sort and then I kind of do some mixing so that the burners come on with like, you know, five eighths or three quarters throttle. Anyways, your mileage may vary, that's just how I do it. So what I'm gonna do on this bird is I think I'm just gonna tuck this little driver and stuff right down underneath that tray, and then everything's down out of the way. So I'll probably have to get a little extension for the Y harness for my application. I'm not quite sure where my receiver's gonna lie in here yet, so I might, might not need one, I may. But um, since all the servo leads for this airplane come up here to the front, I'm going to need to get that baby up to the front. Or, 
you could always put this up here in the front as well, but I think I'd rather have one long servo wire and have it in the back there. Just for me, personal preference. So I flipped it over, shoved the gear out, put the canopy on it. Um, I just kind of wanted to work on it with its gear. I hate resting foam airplanes on things because, I don't know, you know that painted foam is kind of fragile in my opinion. And of course I had to chuck the canopy on to see how that fit. So I did that as well. Um, I did put the linkages in the elevators just so they weren't flopping around in the breeze. Um, I'll straighten them out later. Rudders, really is simple. This wire is shoved up in that hole in the bottom. The little connector or the extension in the body is here. So you want to make sure, since it's painted, it might be kind of hard to tell, but you know, you want to make sure you get the negative negative signal to single, all that jazz. So do a double check, make sure everything's kosher. This here I just kind of shoved down in there. Fill around a little bit till you get it started. Make sure the wires aren't poking out on the inside. And boom. Now we'll put two screws up on each one from the bottom. And those are done until we do the linkages. Alright guys, we're getting close. So the next thing you'll do is you put your spar in. And you'll slide your wings on. And uh, put your ribbon cable will go into here. Um, one other thing to point out that some of you may have noticed is they made this so when you put your screws in they'll thread through a section and then not the next and they'll just kind of they'll always stay in there you don't have to take them all the way out and you won't lose them so big props to Alpha for uh, just just thinking above and beyond pretty awesome while we're giving them props notice there's a CG location on here already too how do you not like that you can see the little missile racks, they all just slide in. Pretty awesome. All the linkages, or not linkages, all the connections here are in the wing and done. It's simply just putting on your linkages and being done. On the nose cone, you need to glue this little plywood piece into there. And uh, then we can install that. So uh, while I was gluing that piece for the nose, um, I went ahead and did some of the other little scale pieces. So you got these two little dudes here. You've got this little antenna thing here. This little proby thing here. And this big proby thing here. So the next stuff to do would be get the radio bound up properly, get the linkages on all the flying surfaces done right, and then put all the bombs and missiles on, or missiles, I guess. There's no bombs on here, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the tigers on these. I just kind of wanted to throw the whole bird together for the video because um, those are water slide decals, and I may or may not make a video on that, probably not. But uh, James did a good one on how to do that, so it'll be good enough. But, anyways, there's my quick and dirty build of the MiG 29. Hope you guys like it. Uh, we'll come back once everything is totally done. And finish. Power hooked up and everything is working. We got the marker lights. Landing gear light is on. Very cool. Very, very cool. So here's down in the cockpit. Here's what I have for a receiver. Link will be down in the description. I've just got a couple 4200s that have this connection on it. I'm going to have to get some adapters for my other stuff. But um, there is a mod for the blue board that someone did a video of. Oh, you can't see it there. To get these doors to close after the gear come up. Um, the full scale one, the gear doors stay open, but they stay open against the fuse, so these really aren't perfectly scale. So I'm going to do that mod and get those things so they stay closed when the gear down. So I think it looks a little cleaner. But anyways, I think that's about it. Uh, make sure you double check everything. Check your throws and rates. I have not done that yet. I will. Here it says it's one millimeter down on the elevator um, is your neutral point. So model needs a fair bit of up elevator out of the gate. I almost forgot. You got your missiles and your racks and your stuff. So, so all these guys here have a name on them. Or a, designation or whatever. So that's the 27. All these little ones are 73s. They're all the same. Um, so the racks are appropriately 73, 27. 
So you got to hand it to these guys, this simple system, as you've seen in James's video, just slides on in there, then it goes up underneath the wing into two of those deals, locks in. Piece of cake. It's just going to add that extra touch of realism, which is cool. On and off easy. Now only, Alpha, if you can figure out how to drop those things in flight, that would be cool. Let me get these things on there and then we'll come back. There you go, they're all on. Piece of cake. Just that extra little touch of realism just looks amazing. Very cool. Can't wait to fly this thing. I got all the throws, all the expo, all the mixing, everything is done. It's ready to fly. Sands the elevator servos, but everything else is done, going the right way. Have to do a range check, um, but everything else is good. The receiver, I kind of put there. I may end up having to go up here. We'll see how it goes, and then I put the satellite up here in the nose. Um, but to make it balance with the 4200s, here's the arrangement, and this is pretty close to right on the marks underneath the wing. So if you're on 4200s, here's what you got. So that back one's almost all the way forward. And the front one's got about three fingers back. If I put it up on this tray, it was way too tail heavy. So um, I had to do it this way. But uh, yeah, so I don't know what it'll be with bigger batteries. We'll cross that bridge once we get to it. But here's how mine balances with these. Here's the lead for the fiery booty. So it'll plug into the balance tab here on the battery. I shoved the board and everything is just kind of shoved back in. There's so much room back in there. I shoved the wires and stuff down underneath there. Um, I did do a Y on the throttle up here, and then I ran a long extension back to that. Just how I felt like doing it on mine. Um, you could put the board and stuff up here. There's more than enough space, I think, but I just kind of wanted it out of sight, out of mind. Um, I did a test. I'll show that now. There you go. Fiery booties. <laughs> And it worked out great. So once we get this baby at the field, we'll see it in flight. And I cannot wait. Cannot wait.